Hello and welcome back to the special series and here's the next question and as always uh, by the way this time this question is based on your topic of arithmetic which is the most common question most common variety of questions and it is mixtures and allegation uh, which is sometimes favorite of uh, exam setters right so as always I'm just getting aside and I will be counting reverse in five and that's your time you are supposed to pause your video take a screenshot and solve the question on your own and after that we shall solve it together fine your time starts now so five four three two one and go okay i'm back so i hope that you have solved it or if you have not done it solve it right okay let's read it together it says alloy a okay is made of lead and zinc mix in the ratio one is to three See, every sentence is very, very important and how you uh, depict the given information in mathematical format which you can use to solve further, proceed further is very helpful, right? So, how I'm going to put it, let's uh, see this. So, we are having alloy A. So, let me write A here. So, we are having certain alloy A, okay? It is composed of these two components here, lead and zinc. So, let me write completely. So, this is lead and zinc. Lead and zinc, and they are mixed in the ratio 1 is to 3. So, what is the quantity? I don't know, but they are in the ratio 1 is to 3. Straightforward. So, whatever information was given in this first sentence, I have put it in mathematical format so that whatever I need to do further, I could proceed from here. I don't need to see the sentence again. I'm sure many of you are already familiar with this kind of uh, putting the things in mathematical format. Let's move further. Now, alloy B is also there. So, alloy B, let me write here. So, I have alloy B. And it is made of again lead and zinc, so they are the same components, and they are mixed in the ratio 2 is to 3 this time. Okay, so that ratio is 2 is to 3. Fine so far. So till this point, we are we are done. Okay, and let's move further. Let's read further. It says alloys A and B are mixed in the ratio 3 is to 2. Okay, so these alloys A and B are mixed in the ratio 3 is to 2. Now that's an important factor, important part we should understand. So when we are mixing three parts of A and two parts of B. So those three parts and two parts, each part must have equal quantity. Let me repeat what I'm saying. If I say ki teen kilo ye dood hai, do kilo ye dood hai, dono kilos mein hai na, then they are going to be in the ratio 3 to 2. Yes or no? Otherwise, ye teen kilo hai, ye do gram hai, that doesn't make sense. That the ratio is not 3 to 2. So when I'm saying that these two components are being mixed in the ratio 3 to 2, so that means three. Uh, these three parts and these two parts, each part is in equal quantity. But right now if I see, so this is one and three total four parts in a way. These are four parts and this is two and three, there are five parts. So to make them equal, the best situation is always take their LCM, right? This is a uh, total four, this is total five. So let's multiply this quantity by five. Let's multiply this quantity by five. So that total becomes 20, right? This is one plus three, four, four into five, 20 units, 20 units quantity, right? In each part, there are 20 units quantity here. And in each part here, this is 2 plus 3, 5. So just multiply it by 4. I hope it is very clear now. So in each unit of uh, this uh, uh, alloy B, we have 20 units quantity, right? So 2 plus 3, 5, 5 into 4, 20, right? So basically, it is 2 into 4, 8 units of lead and 12 units of zinc. I'm sure you are, uh, you are easily conversant with that fact. So there are 20 units in each uh, each part of uh, alloy B as well as each part of alloy A. So now when I'm mixing three and two parts, so basically 20 wale 3 60 units ho gaya and 20 wale 2 40 units ho gaya, so total it will be 100 units, right? So let me add them, see what happens in this mixture. So this is our original mixture, initial mixture. So when we are mixing them A plus B, by the way, I do not know the actual quantity. It is not given to us. We are just combining them in the ratios and to make, combine them in ratios, it is very much important that they must be in equal quantity, at least in that ratio. Okay, let's see further. Now, can you tell me how much total zinc would be there in this combined mixture, which is uh, 100 units in that sense? So yes, we can do that. So initially lead was 5 units and there were 3 parts here. So 5 into 3, 15 lead uh, from alloy A and 8 into 2, 16 lead from uh, alloy B, right? So 15 plus 16 makes it, check here, 4 into 2, 8 into 2, 16. And this is 5 into 1 into 3, 15. Uh, 15 plus 16 is 31. So this is 31 parts or 31 units of lead in this total mixture of 100 units, right? And let's calculate the zinc. It must come out to be 69, isn't it? Because total was 100. Let's check. 
सो इन दिस अलोय ए वी आर हैविंग फाइव इंटू थ्री फिफ्टीन इन ईच पार्ट एंड फिफ्टीन वाले तीन पार्ट है राइट फिफ्टीन थ्री था फोर्टी फाइव सो फोर्टी फाइव लेट मी राइट हेयर एंड हेयर फोर इंटू थ्री ट्वेल्व इन ईच पार्ट ऑफ अलोय बी एंड ऐसे ऐसे दो पार्ट हैं सो ट्वेल्व इंटू टू दैट इज ट्वेंटी फोर सो फोर्टी फाइव एंड ट्वेंटी फोर एड एफ टू सिक्सटी नाइन एक्जैक्टली एज वी वॉन्टेड राइट सो एस कन्फर्म नाउ सो नाउ दिस ए प्लस बी दिस कंटायर मिक्सर इज हंड्रेड यूनिट मिक्सर If it is 100 unit mixture, so then the ratio of the lead and zinc in this mixture, uh, this mixture of the alloys A and B, it is 30 minus 69. I hope it is very clear. Okay, I haven't used any allegation formula. I haven't used any anything. I, we are just going by the common sense, right? We are just going by the common sense, simple calculation, basic calculation, common sensical, common logical calculations. Okay, so this 30 minus 69, that is the ratio of lead and zinc in this mixture of these two alloys A and B. what is the exact quantity i don't know right that that is not known to us i hope i hope it is very clear to all of you uh, it is not known to us what is the exact quantity okay let's move further so till this point we are done uh, let's proceed further now it says 200 kg of this new alloy was replaced by 200 kg of another alloy containing zinc and iron in the ratio 3 to 1 now it is again having uh, many information here so let's uh, read and apply it carefully so basically first thing is that 200 kg of this new alloy so this is a new alloy here so isme se 200 kg 200 kg was replaced so replace ka matlab aap jante hain replace ka means uh, this quantity uh, this 200 kg quantity from this mixture this alloy has been taken out and it is replaced by another mixture another thing uh in the same quantity it has been clearly mentioned here so it is replaced by 200 kg by the way when it says replaced so it was not necessary to write 200 kg it is obvious replace ka matlab hai that place has been occupied by something else right it is not that ki, this much has been taken out and uh, something else has been put so the quantities may have uh, may be different in that case but when the word you uh, when the word used is replaced it obviously means so it is replaced by some other quantity it is not replaced by vacuum right anyhow so it has been clearly mentioned here that 200 kg of this mixture has been taken out and 200 kg of another alloy has been put in right and this new alloy is having zinc and iron so let me write zinc and iron also it is having and this is a mixture of zinc and alloy now and it is in the ratio 3 is to 1 okay so let me add this zinc and uh, iron in the 3 is to 1 so when zinc and iron uh, they are being mixed in the ratio 3 is to 1 and total quantity was 200 kg can you tell me uh, how will you divide this uh, uh, 200 kg in the ratio 3 to 1 it is very simple so out of four parts three part is uh, zinc is first part and the one part is iron right so iron is 1/4 of total so 1/4 of 200 is 50 and remaining is 150 so basically 150 kg now this is exact quantity right this is 150 kg and this is iron is how much remaining 50 kg fine but this is not been added to the entire mixture this has been added after 200 kg of this alloy was taken out right but now listen very carefully very very carefully so even if i take out 200 kg of this alloy uh, created by the mixture mixing a and b so the ratio of lead and zinc in the remaining mixture will it change did you hear me properly let me repeat my question my question is that he i do not know the actual quantity of this um, alloy the mixture of a and b right we don't know the quantity here we know the ratio in which we are having lead and zinc in this mixture fine that's what we have already discussed so 31 to 69 is the uh, it is actually the um, ratio of lead and zinc in this combined mixture how much is the quantity i don't know so when you take out 200 kg from this so whatever quantity is remaining now what will be the ratio of lead and zinc in that can you tell me it is going to be same 31 and 69 and right? it is not going to change so that was the whole point that was the whole point the ratio is going to same 31 and 69 in the remaining uh, part also basically if you wish to count we can calculate that as well but ratio is going to remain same kyunki aisa kyun hai it's very simple fact so when you are taking out 200 kg quantity from this it is not possible to take out zinc more or only lead no we will be taking out both the components and in the same ratio in which they are present here right so whether you take out a drop from this or whether you take out a mug out of this or whether you take out a 200 kg quantity out of this so the taken out mixture would be having both the components in the same ratio and the 
uh, remaining mixture would again have the same both the components in the same ratio right it is never going to be possible ki kitna quantity nikal lu ki lead sara khatam ho jaye not possible kitna quantity nikal lu ki zinc sara khatam ho jaye not possible because whatever quantity will remain it will be having both the components in same ratio always theek hai so just making use of that fact so after even after taking out 200 kg quantity uh, from this initial mixture we are still having uh, these two components in the same ratio ठीक है तो इसमें से 200 किलोग्राम निकाला जा चुका है लेट मी राइट दैट 200 किलोग्राम हैव बीन टेकन आउट बट द रेशियो ऑफ द कंपोनेंट्स लेड एंड जिंक इज स्टिल इन द सेम रेशियो नाउ एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम लेट्स अज्यूम दैट दिस क्वांटिटी वाज 30 दिस क्वांटिटी नाउ आफ्टर टेकिंग आउट 200 किलोग्राम इज 31k एंड दिस इज 69k ठीक है लेट्स लेट मी अज्यूम दैट ठीक है फाइन समझ में आ गई सारी बात आगे बढ़ते हैं सो क्वेश्चन क्या है व्हाट इज द क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन इज जिंक इन द रिजल्टेंट अलॉय Zinc in the resultant alloy is 70%. Okay, zinc in the resultant alloy is 70%. Zinc in the resultant alloy is 71, uh, 70%. Find the weight of the alloy in the initial mixture. Uh, 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 abhi, uh, by the way, uh, by the way, can you tell me? Let's let's do one thing. Is 200 kilogram the quantity which I have taken out? Can you calculate at how much lead and how much zinc has been taken out? I we already discussed that they have been taken out in the same ratio, 3169. So because 3169 added up to 100, so 200 का मतलब इसका डबल कर देते हैं. That means uh, it is composed of actually 62 kilogram of lead and double of this that is 138 kilogram of zinc. That has been taken out actually, right? So after we have taken out this quantity, so let the remaining quantity are thirty one k and sixty nine k. I hope it is very clear now. ठीक है? Okay, so that's it. That's it. ठीक है? So let's go back to the business. So question is saying that zinc in the resultant alloy. So after mixing these two, so when we are mixing these two, so we are having all the three components. We are having all the three components. So we are having lead thirty one k in kilogram, let's say, and zinc is sixty nine k. Plus one fifty kilogram, and this iron is also there in fifty kilogram. There is a quantity there. Okay, so the zinc in this resultant alloy, this new alloy here, is seventy percent. The uh, quantity of zinc here, that means this quantity is seventy percent of this total, right? Okay, let me write it. Let's see what happens. So I'm writing it here. So zinc, that means sixty nine k plus one fifty. When divided by this total quantity, how much is total quantity? It is hundred k plus two hundred, right? This is one hundred k plus two hundred. Now this is given equal to seventy percent, which means seventy upon hundred, or basically seven by ten, right? Yeah, ठीक है seven seventy by hundred लिख लेते हैं. So this hundred would be cancelled. So hundred would be cancelled. This is two here. This is uh, k only. So after cross multiplying, we can easily figure out the value of k. Let's see what it happens. So this is sixty nine k plus one fifty only. 69k plus 150. That comes out to be equal to how much? 70 times k plus 17 into 2. That is 140. Right? Simple. So 70 minus 69. That becomes single k only. And that comes out to be equal to 150 minus 140, which is 10. So the value of k comes out to be 10. That means we get the exact values now. Right? We get the exact values of all the things now. So this k is actually 10. This k is actually 10. Now what is the question? Let's see. So question says. Find the weight of alloy A, weight of alloy A in the initial mixture. That means this mixture. So in this mixture, how much alloy A was there? So uh, how much uh, weight of alloy A, entire alloy A, we are looking for? Okay, entire alloy A is that much only, right? That much only. So basically, क्या बोले इसको? क्या बोले? क्या बोले? So basically, basically, uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. ठीक है, so this k comes out to be 10, so let me write the exact values now. So if I put the exact values, so 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 so, so basically this was total 100 parts. So 100 parts comes out to be how much? यहीं से चेक कर लेते हैं ना. So this uh, k is 10, it means this is 310 and 690. 310 and 690 makes it 1000, 1000 kilogram, right? This k is 10, that makes it in kilograms. That's in kilograms only. So k is 10. If I put it k is 10, that is uh, remaining quantity now is 310 kilogram. And that is 690 kilogram, right? And we have already taken out 200 kilogram. So that is uh, 1000 and 200. The so total was 1200 kilogram. So total mixture now initially it was 1200 kilogram. Fine. 
and out of this 1200 kilogram uh, which was basically 100 parts right this was total 100 parts to usme se ye kitna units tha so this was 20 wale 3 so that was 60 units so this was 60 units and 40 units total 100 units was equal to 1200 kilogram that makes it 10 units So 10 units amounted to 120 kilogram and we have to calculate how much 60 units this is initial right find the weight of the alloy A in the initial mixture in the initial mixture that was the entire weight 60 units so this 10 units is 120 kilogram so 60 units is going to be just 6 times of that that makes it 12 into 6 uh, uh, 72 that is 720 kilogram so that is our answer here fine that's it that is a good question isn't it so basically you must have seen here that we haven't used any formula here any allegation we have just gone by the simple percentages comparison simple mixing the things and simply find out the ratio and using making use of the ratios to find out the individual values and here important factor that whenever we are taking out certain quantity from a mixture the components ratio doesn't change it is intact right and that is very obvious thing that is very basic thing and using all these facts, so we have reached our final answer. Okay, thank you very much.